Unfortunately, stress is going up and it's continuing to go up. Research over the last 30 years says stress has gone up around 25, 30%. And uh, there are all kinds of effects from this increasing stress. But I wanna talk about what happens in your brain. There's a little almond-shaped organelle in your brain called your amygdala, and it's where you store your stress reaction patterns, your threat response patterns. And when you uh, pr perceive something as, as threat, and I, it's important this word perceive, it doesn't mean it actually is a threat. You perceive something as a threat, there's a little part of your brain called the thalamus that's monitoring the traffic through your brain. And when your brain decides, okay, this is a threat, it activates the amygdala, and there's a, a, a direct link between the thalamus and the amygdala, so there's a very quick activation. Neuroscientist Joe Ledoux called it the back alley. This is just connection to activate the amygdala, and it's really important to be able to respond quickly to threats. But the, the problem is, as we become more stressed, that system becomes more sensitive. And as stress is going up, we're more and more likely to perceive things as threats. And we're actually probably missing uh, the data because we're filtering it through this heightened stress response. We're not as accurate in our perceptions and we're seeing more and more things as a threat. The amygdala kicks in, it floods our brain with these neurohormones related to stress. Our uh, muscles react faster. Our blood flow concentrates in our trunk. Uh, we get ready to fight, flee, and freeze. Our reproductive system shuts down. Our long-term immunity shuts down. Our higher order or creative thinking shuts down. Our uh, digestive system shuts down. We move into this state where really all we're gonna do is fight with the enemy, uh, or hide, or run away. Now, I don't know about you, but for me, the issues that I face most days, those three options aren't really gonna be a good solution. The issues that I face most days are gonna require a lot of creative and critical thinking. They're gonna require a lot of reflective and listening and problem solving. But when we're in this threat response system, all of that part of our brain is shut down, our social perceptions are shut down, our reflectiveness is shut down because our brains love efficiency. And in order to be efficient, we turn everything else off to dedicate the resources to survive in this moment of danger. But what if it's not really a moment of danger? Remember, the perception of threat is what's triggering this reaction. And so one of the things that we have to do is to teach ourselves that discomfort, that the chaos that we're in, that the complexity that we're in, it is uncomfortable, but it's not dangerous.